Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As expected, the EFL team of the season dropped yesterday, but what was not expected was the absolutely insane juiced cards that were a part of this team with the stat and the skill move upgrades. Some of these cards are higher rated than Premier League team of the season players, which seems crazy, but EA made these cards super duper usable, which is insane. Also with the objective and SBC content that dropped with it, EFL toss is kind of crazy. I want to talk about that and of course, Today's a massive day on FIFA because we get the big boy upgrade packs. We've all been waiting for those Premier League specific upgrades to try to pack some Premier League team of the seasons. I don't know how I have not packed one yet. I might be one of the only people to not have done so. But today we open a ton of packs and we try to pack some of those big boy blues. So we'll take a look at that and how will that impact the market today? If you remember last year, on this day, when these SBCs came out, there was a lot of market impact because so many people want to do upgrades for Premier League team this season. We'll see if that happens again today. We'll talk about that in the video today, of course, as well. So if you're excited for those upgrade packs today, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now, there's a lot to talk about from yesterday and that's what I want to go into first. Firstly, let's just look at this EFL Tots team, man, because it is downright crazy. The number one stat boost and the number two, the skill move and weak foot upgrades that some of these cards got as well. And some of these guys are extinct. I don't know what just happened, but Brownhill was extinct at 380. And uh, I mean, let's be honest, he was a little bit expensive. But the fact that he's on the market now really interests me because um, these guys, Brownhill and... Um, Akpom were both extinct and now they're on the market. So I'm very curious as to why that is happening. I'm sure there's some investors that were expecting this to stay extinct, but now seeing this card on the market are starting to list them up. Uh, is that what this is? This investors? Yeah, man, this is a lot of second owner tradable. These are investors panic selling. Now, I'm going to keep an eye on this price, and I think you should too, because this card for 240K, being English from Burnley with a five star weak foot, that is a cracked defensive midfield player. And I mean, I know that he was extinct at 380, and that was definitely too much, but now being 140K down is very interesting. We're going to have to watch that card into today. But these cards, the point being, they are absolutely insane. The stats in these cards are crazy. And uh, man, EA, like what a dub with the boost. They've made these cards usable, right? And the one thing I want to tell you is for a lot of these cards, a lot of them have base silver cards, which means every single day, make sure you are doing your silver upgrade packs because you can pack these cards from the daily silver upgrade pack. Anything that is a silver pack that gives you silver players, you can pack these guys from those packs. So make sure you're doing this, especially with the 24 silver players, seven rare, pretty good odds, honestly, of packing these EFL Tots cards in those since their base cards are silver. So that's one thing to kind of look out for. And man, again, some of these guys, like don't sleep on this center back. I know he's tough to link, but look at this center back from Sheffield, 96 agility, 99 composure, 96 reactions with 90, what is it? 96 short pass great defending stats if you put a shadow on this card maxes out his sprint speed maxes out his defending he's a 95 rated center back absolutely crazy like half of the cards in this team uh are just juiced like crazy this uh tella with the five star skills explosive can play on the right the left and at striker you've got so many strikers in this team that just look fun to try and i mean you had to just say ggs to ea sports for dropping an insane secondary league tots team with some really really good players inside of it now in my opinion one of the best parts about the whole efl tots that was dropped yesterday was this chong moments objective super easy to complete and he's also pretty linkable with the dutch links we just had during air division team this season this is a cracked card and i'll say this as well chong is just overpowered in game some of you guys may remember some of the special cards from previous years he's got the in-game hair trait he basically is like kind of a hullet type car but he's high high work rates here he can play cam center mid and on the left side great stats all around that's a card that is a must do whatever it takes you know a couple games of squad battles which is like that all that's all that it is three separate squad battles matches six squad battles matches having three dutch players you can do it in rivals and champs as well so use a couple of your um maybe air divisi tots cards and rivals this week 
get this done and boom, you've got a Chong that's going to link with those uh, Eredivisie cards with the Dutch links. That's an insane, insane card there. And then probably the more popular thing that happened yesterday with this EFL Tots was the young player of the season player pick option between Mumba, Alex Scott, and Junior Chamadeo. I'm not sure how to say his name. Hopefully I did okay there. Um, this kind of player pick is, is really cool. This uh, Scott card is five-star skills, four-star weak foot, and hull it gang. To me, this one was like decent. I mean, explosive with an engine. He was, This is a really good pick. Uh, again, he's English as well, so very easy to link. I actually went with the Mumba left back. Shout out Pie Face. Uh, Plymouth, up to Plymouth. Um, but if you throw a, I mean, even explosive for a defender, I think is sometimes very usable. But throw a shadow on this guy, maxed out pace, really good defending. He's pretty short, short and lean, five foot six. But I think he'll be a really, really fun card. If you're going to use any of those links inside of the EFL Tots, either one of those three, Mumba, Scott, or Chamadeo, I think they're all great choices. I mean, the price of this SBC is 22K. Like, you can't go wrong. So, again, Absolutely incredible content yesterday for the EFL team of the season. Those cards look unbelievable, and I'm so glad that EA took cards that were like silvers and gave them huge boost that honestly made them better than some of the Premier League Tots cards if you look at some of the ratings. So big time GG's there for EA. Now also yesterday we had the 88 plus trophy uh, Titans Basically the same uh, hero player pick that we had last week, and it's just disappointing, man. Because also, as a part of this, I'm pretty sure they made the SPC more expensive. Um, they, they upped the rating on one of the squads in here, which doesn't make sense at all. But technically, if you're thinking of it from EA standpoint, it does, because people have more fodder now than they maybe did before. But still, it's disappointing to see that go up, and it's the exact same player pick. I mean, EA, we, we needed an icon pack here. We needed the 90-plus prime foot birthday or team of the year. I would have rather had than this personally so that's just a bit disappointing but yesterday the efl tots definitely stole the show on this game have fun trying them out today i think a lot of people are going to be trying these cards out that's why i'm pretty interested in this Brownhill card, the fact that he is now on the market at 240k is very interesting to me uh, because he was extinct at 380 before. And uh, yeah, I don't know how low that's going to go, but that is that is kind of crazy. Some of these guys will probably rise up a bit today just as people want to go out and try them out. So I'm going to be looking at their prices. I believe it's a bank holiday today in the UK. So shout out if you're on bank holiday. That's nice. Um, and that just might mean some more demand for, for these cards too. Like this Akpom was extinct at 750 so... If I saw him at like 600, I might try to go for that one there. So just kind of watch those cards today. I think the market will do decent this morning. We'll talk about that more in a second. Now, speaking of today on Monday, as we mentioned, and as a lot of us have been looking forward to, this upgrade pack is coming today. It is the premium, Premier League premium league upgrade SBC. You might be like, Nate, what is this upgrade pack? Well, we've already seen it this year in FIFA. You might know what it is when you see this right here premium premier league upgrade pack basically the exact same name we're expecting this exact same sbc to be dropped today on this game this was dropped during team of the year of course a lot of us opened these to try to pack team of the year cards and remember during team of the year we were disappointed because it did only have eight gold players in three rare instead of 12 with four rares like we were used to in previous fifas now there's no new pack code to suggest that that would be changing so it's probably going to be this exact same upgrade pack that is dropping today on this game so watch out for this but again what did it require i'll even show you the requirements you probably know this it's 12 gold or 11 gold rare players not 12 11 gold rare players no specific league requirements so once again this is why we were talking about all during the weekend make sure you go out and you stock gold rares they're already rising they're selling basically instantly for 700 coins you can still try to get them there on bid they're going to start going up today stock your club stock your transfer list because those are the upgrade packs everybody's going to be doing today. And if you get those golds in your club, you're going to be able to do those upgrade upgrade packs for cheaper than if you would have waited and uh, and you would have, you know, wait till the end of the week because they'll be more expensive as, of course, those prices are going to go up. Now, other Monday content that we could see today, there is one leak, uh, actually two leaks, but one kind of newer one. Take this with a pinch of salt as always because it's not from one of our top tier leaker accounts, but from FIFA 23 leaks. He says Allison is now confirmed as an SBC. He even drops a price, 50k coins to complete. So that's really interesting. If they drop Allison 
at 50K, that's gonna create a whole kind of crazy goalkeeper market crash. Like when the Ederson footballers was dropped, it would be that sort of same situation. So I don't know, take that with a pinch of salt as always, but Ederson or Allison was one of the uh, cards that was leaked ahead of time to come as a moments, either objective or an SBC. So that could be dropping on the game today. So watch out for that. Of course, we still have the Laporte flashback leak as well. To me, this one feels like it'd be somewhere later on in the week, maybe like a Wednesday or a Thursday, more likely on a Wednesday or Tuesday, but we'll see. Uh, that's still a flashback leak that is impending and that is out there. So I'm being very careful with center backs that I really want to look at on this game because if Laporte is good value, that could, be, that could bring a lot of drops and prices to the center backs. But really watch out for maybe some of your tradable goalkeepers on the, today's game as well if Allison is dropped. So that's some big kind of potential movements that could happen today. Whenever he drops, there'll probably be some big movements if he's that cheap. But speaking of the market, I want to look at these Premier League Tots players because that was one thing we've been talking about. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have been asking yourself or thinking, when can I look to buy some of these for my team? And I think we're at a point in the weekend where we're starting to get to the lower tier of these prices. We're getting towards the bottom, guys, 100%. Yunmin Sun is 630K. Bukayo Saka is also the same price. I think between today on Monday and tomorrow on Tuesday, you're going to see a really low point for these cards. Now, for the lowest point possible, I mean, seriously, like, like I mentioned in the intro of this video, last year on the Monday of the upgrade packs when they were dropped during Premier League Tots, there were some big price drop-offs because the hype for the upgrade packs and everybody being able to do those was so crazy that you saw some of these Premier League Tots cards go down significant amounts in price. Now, I think there will be a short-term market rise today up into content as there was last Monday. Trading with these cards is probably going to be pretty good. But I would just say keep an eye on these Premier League Tots cards today. Um, I think we're nearing the low point. We may not be there yet, uh, but between now and uh, towards the middle of the week, before the Premier League Tots pack comes out, we're going to have to just keep watching these cards, right? I don't think I would be necessarily buying for a hold just yet. I would risk it another day and see where these guys go. And uh, before we really think like, okay, is it time to get in and, and, and to invest? So just kind of watch those cards. They still fluctuate great every single day. Harry Kane every day goes up like 30,000 coins, which when his tax is about 10K, you know, he's a really good flip. Yesterday, he was 170, went all the way up to 200,000 coins. He's back down to 170 again. I'm a little bit worried about Kane because we've got these EFL Tots cards um, that are now in the game. So, you know, somebody might sell Harry Kane to go use this, like the Tela, you know, or something like that. Or maybe, maybe Brownhill, not really a one for one in terms of the, the type of card that you have there, but just kind of something to think about. So, you know, keep an eye on the Premier League Tots cards because I do think there will be some good movement on these, but you know, their prices may not get to their lowest until a couple days from now still. So just keep an eye on and see how they move today. Low tier Premier League cards, as we've been talking about during these last couple of days, low tier Prem cards for the cup, right? Today, if you think about it, people kind of finish their weekend leagues um, during the weekend, even though we have extended amounts of time to do it. Like I'm still in the middle of my weekend league. I'm currently 10 and three, a really, really solid start for me. Uh, at this time still, but like this Joel Cole at 59k is pretty crazy. Um, if that 59k is still there, it's not. I'm I'm buying these any of that I can see under 59k, 60k, because this Joel Cole was like 70,000 coins yesterday. And again, as we talked about in yesterday's video, I'm looking at a lot of these lower tier Premier League guys because people need to build teams and buy out a few players to start playing their cup and kind of the hype for the cup really ramps up today as we get into the week as people have finished their weekend league. So other cards we talked about yesterday, Lucas Mora, any of your more recent promo cards that uh, are really cheap, I'm especially looking at under 100,000 coins in terms of value. Lucas Mora is 60K. Wow. Okay. He was like 64,000 coins yesterday. So like this at 59, I haven't even looked at his price all day. I don't think it's that bad at 59K. You know, like I'll take two of those. Thanks. No problem. And hopefully that goes up a little bit today as there's going to be demand for people to go out and build some Prem teams. So watch that part of the market today. There should be more demand there. Really a good opportunity to trade with some of that stuff. Now, a lot of the market prices are still really low. If we take a look through some of like Trophy Titans, those are still mad cheap. Some Foot Birthdays. Bruno Guimaraes is 207K. Desai 250 um, Ganduzi's 260k, like all of the prices on the market that are not Premier League are still just like going down. I mean, Nunez is back under 300,000 coins again, like he was last night. 
Hazard is still low 200s. Upamecano is 100k. Ben Astaire is 110,000 coins. Like, that's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy low for where these guys were. Now, I know we started to kind of mention, like, you know, Bundesliga team of the season is upcoming. Do we need to start investing in Bundesliga cards? Um, yeah, yeah, that's something that is definitely on our radar. But I think for right now, we would still want to wait uh, and, and not to buy those cards just yet. Although here in the next couple of days, we're definitely going to do that. Ooh, here's one that I want to look at really quick for a, a cheaper Premier League card. Ben Rama Fantasy Foot under 50K. Give me one. I will 48K. I will take that i'm pretty sure he's like 55 to 60k every single day so those are the kind of cards that i would say are the best look right now still are these cards wow 49k just sitting for ben rama that's really nice so just kind of look at that sort of stuff on the market today there should be some good trades with good demand there again just be careful with the, the upgrade packs that are dropping today uh, on this game i think there will be some po positive movements on the market this morning that's why i've got a lot of coins in some flips just kind of random cards like you've seen me buying in the video and tots cards and stuff like that some random flips for me heading into today on monday last thing i want to look at though is sbc fodder because ggs yesterday in the video we mentioned selling tots cards um, because Tots cards are like 26,000 coins a piece. Well, here we are back down with all the cheapest team of the seasons being like 20K, I think. Actually, if we go and check on the market, this is probably the best place to see. If we just take a look at the cheapest Premier League or the cheapest team of the season cards in general. They're like low 20s, 21,000 coins, 20K even for some of these cards. Uh, GG's because these EFL Tots cards are not the cheapest again. But I would say I think there's a good opportunity here if you can get them at 20,000 coins flat, especially if it's an 89 rated card or if it's Morata or if it's Veerman, one of the uh, Tots cards that is out of packs with the Premier League Tots guarantee that is upcoming. Like there's a Veerman right there. Um, you know, that could be a decent buy at 20K. These guys could go back up to about 25 or 26K during the week this week because there's going to be more. It seems like every single day they release an SBC that has a team of the week or a TOTS requirement. So I would say 20K for these again, especially if you can get them 20K or 21K for the 89 rated. like, boom, Clark Harris, 19K. That would have been insane. That's even a really usable card out of the EFL TOTS. Like, how is that card 20K? That's crazy. So, I think that's a pretty low risk investment. You'll probably be able to sell those, like I said, again, 25 to 26K during the week later on this week. So watch out for that. And then again, for fodder, I mean, the SBC we had yesterday, this 88 plus World Cup is just not that great of an SBC. So fodder is really not moving that much at all. 86s are 9K, 85 still six and a half, 84 is still three. 83s are up a little bit. So GG's, if you bought those, I think that was one of the better investments. Those were shouted. We talked about them at like 950 to 1000 during the weekend. So those were good. Um, and then the rest of the high tier fodder market just keeps going lower. 91s at 30K, like what? That's crazy. But they're not going to move until we get an SBC that has an 88 plus requirement. That is a lot of um, demand and a lot of people wanting to go and do it. So that's kind of the fodder situation on this game right now. Really, Fodder's not making people a lot of coins as it has in the last couple of weeks just because the SBCs haven't really ramped up yet. I'm really curious to see if the SBCs ramp up some more today. We're going to keep a close eye on that this week. There's not a ton of leaks at the moment besides like the two outstanding Premier League SBCs. We'll see if that changes, but hopefully it's a W day of content today on this game. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things here in objectives that you, we maybe want to keep up on. Oh, the Craft of Glory. This is going to be able to be fully finished today. Um, Matoma and Paulina. If you think about it from a market perspective, if you have Matoma's Fantasy Foot card, I would not hold on to that because it's definitely going to go lower today. If you were thinking about trading with him, be very careful because a lot of people are going to be getting this 92 Matoma after you'll be able to do the premium Premier League upgrade SBC today. You'll be able to do it, of course, 10 times, 20 times and uh, get it done. So watch out for that there. And it might be a quiet day in objectives. Um, I mean, we do have the, of course, Premier League League upgrade SBC coming out, but I don't think we'll be able to get done any of these other ones, um, except for actually today, you'll be able to complete this entire objective if you're up to date on everything. I think by the end of the week, we might be able to get to level 20. Uh, I don't know, 20,000 XP. I, I am away. I'm not all the way caught up, but I think EA... I mean, EA can very much kind of decide how fast they want us to progress on this curve. And 84 times 25 for Premier League team this season might be too overpowered. So I feel like they might not let us get to this, especially with the one of three 90 plus E-Figs Tots player pick in here. I think they would want it to include the Bundesliga team of the season. So 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get to Desai or uh, the 2584 plus. Maybe if you have EA play or something at the extra XP, that's something to keep an eye on. We'll have to watch that throughout the, the rest of the week and see what other objectives they drop. But that's kind of the update of what's going on in this game right now. Again, as I said, I'm pretty invested. I picked up a couple of canes. I picked up some Gerards as well. Watch your English icons because a lot of these players in the EFL tots are English. Uh, and I think that could mean some really solid movement there. So Gerard went up yesterday to like 230K. So I picked some up under 210. I thought that was a really low price. Uh, he's still like 219. I think under 210 for him is pretty, pretty solid uh, because I think he could be going up today as people go in and build out some squads with some of these English players from EFL Team of the Season. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in the stream today. Oh, yeah. Also, subscribe if you're new. Do that stuff, too. We're going to pack a big boy Prem Tot today, man. All right? We're going to do it. This counter's going up, and we're going to get some blues. I hope you guys join me for it. Again, I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan for the count and catch you guys later. Peace.